this evening. This is uh, Crescent School's 27th annual fundraising event. And it has been always a support from you and other brothers and sisters like you who have supported us throughout the years. Crescent School started, many of you know that it started in the basement of Islamic Center of Long Island in Westbury with only seven kids about 27 years ago. And now, alhamdulillah, after they acquired the school building in Hempstead for about last ten, eight to 10 years ago, now we have about 250 students from pre-K to 12th grade. And many batches have graduated and they are, mashallah, doing very good. Many have finished their BS degrees. Many have done their medical school and law school. Uh, so they are really making us all proud, uh, community members, and of course they are making their parents very proud. And few of them, for example, you'll be hearing from, from a young man who graduated with, uh, uh, from us in uh, uh, 2010, and uh, Forbes, Forbes magazine usually comes out with 30 under 30, 30 influential young men uh, who are uh, in each field, and he was, uh, uh, his name is Walid Asif. He will be joining us very soon, inshallah, and he's going to be talking in front of you. And uh, he has uh, done a um, uh, Next Health, that is uh, a app, mashallah, he has created, and you'll be hearing from him very soon, inshallah. And at this point, I will request uh, one of our chief guests, uh, Dr. Abdul Sheikh, to come and say a few words uh, to the community. Dr. Abdul Sheikh. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Okay. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Nahmaduhu wa nasalli ala rasulayhi al kareem. Amma baad. Rabbi shrahli, sadri wa yassirli amri. Wahlu lukdatam min lesani yafkahu kawli. Dr. Jafar Saab, Chief Guests, and distinguished guests, it's my distinct honor and utmost pleasure to be speaking in front of you this evening. It was, <clears throat> it's when in our life we would have gone several fundraisers, different, different causes, but today it's a unique type of situation where our kids are involved in the education. This is an educational organization's fundraising dinner every year we have been having. I will briefly touch how Crescent School came into being. And then today where we are. And then I will request everybody to help me to congratulate Dr. Jafar Saab. In 1991, almost 27 years ago, Crescent School was started from the basement of ICLI, Islamic Center of Long Island. Who doesn't know Islamic Center of Long Island? Now on, I will be just using ICLI. Seven students were the first batch, and some dedicated parents, I won't name them, I being the founder member of ICLI, I know exactly how this school has progressed. And it is really, I am proud of that to be here. And there is a hadith which is to the near meaning. Nabi Kim Sallallahu got in his house and asked his beloved wife, Sayyida Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, what is for tonight? She said a goat came, the meat was distributed, and I have only the shoulder part which I have cooked for you. All other is gone, only this is saved. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he corrected her statement saying, Aisha, whatever you have given in the path of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, that is saved. This piece which we are gonna consume tonight, that will be gone. Allah's promise is that if we give one dollar in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ten times we'll be here in, in this dunya, 
right in our life and 70 to 700 times 70 to 700 times in the year after in the akhira depending upon ikhlas and niyyah our purity of intention that is the most important thing that how much reward we will be given by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala almighty i see lot of bright faces young faces and full of energy they will be inshallah ready to donate tonight crescent school <clears throat> when it was started in 1991 after 3 4 years i was invited as in the reward ceremony and uh, uh, diploma giving i was giving the diplomas at that day i told dr jafar sahab i hope he remembers i said dr sahab we need a big place pretty soon and sure enough 2003 we had to move from icli basement to our lo <coughs> present place which is a free standing building and 2003 when we moved over there we have now progressed in that building tremendously a few days ago dr sub called me he said uh, i want to show you what are what is the progress in our uh, crescent school since i have been taking interest right from day one so i was really amazed our this great institution is equipped with most modern state of the art lab computer lab science lab then above all the most important thing which i liked there is a separate space for the for the prayer for the kids imagine in this age if we are giving them the opportunity to say prayers and mostly zohar and um, uh, asar in congregation and when the days are short in winter time even we encourage them to say prayer maghrib prayer as well before you go home it's a wonderful institution it is recognized all over the nation especially the tri state area and this is a landmark on long island those parents who wanted to teach their students both spiritual as well as the secular this is the place of choice this school is registered with new york state department of finance education and which means that not only they will be taught english uh, social studies the regular secular uh, subject but also quranic islamic and um, arabic language which will facilitate our kids when they read the holy quran they will be able to understand and that day is not far when they will be acting upon on the holy quran wallahi i swear upon you, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in front of you inshallah with the rahma and mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our student from crescent school they will be the scholars and imam of the ummas usually in my opinion when you give uh, some good gifts to your uh, children <coughs> The best give, gift will be quality education. But please, youngsters, my young adults, don't misunderstand, don't take me wrong. I'm not telling your parents not to give you Lamborghini or Ferrari or Maserati or any expensive car which at this age you all want. But my advice is don't compensate your education for any of the gifts you get this uh, education has some little time and then if that time passes away it will be hard for you to to achieve that goal my living example my fourth uh, i have four sons out of four three were nyu graduates and in early decision they were picked up which means they did not have to wait that they will be getting call or something and those days are very crucial 
when somebody is waiting that whether I will be called or not, I will be picked up or not, I will be given chance to attend that university or not. That is top 10 schools of United States. Our little baby, he is a hostel law and he did not want to go there because he wanted to live with us every evening he comes home. The reason I'm saying that please, parents, this is great responsibility of teacher, parent, and the student himself or herself. I usually say it's a triangle. When there are three angles, if they are all working properly, you can have wonderful uh, results. But if one of the angle is not working, you cannot say triangle. And to prove this, among these three parties, Parents are the only one which undergo a lot of tension when the child is born and he is not performing properly. And then the child himself, the student, is the backbone. No matter how good teachers are, no matter how many parents and how parents are having sleepless nights to help and ask him to study. But if the child is not studying, then you really cannot do. I was reading an article before I conclude. A newly young couple got a set of twins. The first set of twins, buy one, get one free. They were so excited. They said, oh my God, we got uh, uh, twins. Everywhere they celebrated and they made so much that they forgot that these kids they have to be exposed towards some education as well, but they did not care. So uh, we all know that first two, three years is like honeymoon for the child. There was no problem. They were pay, playing, eating, sleeping, and they were very naughty and very, very, how you say, they don't care whether adult is there or younger is there. They will just jump on the shoulders. So when the school time came, they were sent to school and the parents were so anxious that I hope they will study. They wanted to come back with the parents. That first day when they took their uh, uh, twins, they wanted to come back with them. But teachers, they were very nice. They kept them there. And about three, four days later, principal called the parents, please come and take your students because they are becoming a problem for the other serious student. They don't let them study. Imagine what will be the condition of the parents. So they had no other choice to bring them home. They started sending them some other school. Same thing happened. And now the last choice was home tutoring. Let's get a tutor at home so that we, they can teach him. Now two teachers, they unsuccessful, they did not, could not uh, convince them to study. But the third teacher, he had so much experience, he claimed that he will stop teaching if he could not get these two kids uh, ready to teach, to learn. So first seven days, he did not do anything. He will bring some toys, they will be playing together and they will be running together. They like started liking him. And now every day, every morning, these two twins, very intelligent, but very naughty. They were waiting for him. So one day, teacher came with oranges. He brought a few oranges and he said, here is one for you. Here is the other one for you. Another one, another one. So let's eat. They ate one and then both had two and two. Now, teacher says, Dr. Sir, teacher says, how many you have? The other counterpart said, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Are you going to answer? They are trying to teach us math. This is a math question. One and one, it will be two. They are, they are trying to teach us addition. Don't, don't answer. Otherwise, I'm not going to talk to you. So when such kids are there, who are the backbone of learning, and they are not willing to learn, then what will happen? This is where we all stand, we being parents, we are so concerned 
that this is only the father who wants his son or daughter more than him. There is no other relation in this world. There are always they want the other person should be lower than me. But the father is the only one who wants his uh, uh, kids should be more than him. So my dear uh, parents and uh, youngsters and students, I will conclude with a dua. Rabbana habla na min azwaje na vazuri yate na kurata ayu vajal na lil muttaki na imama. And we one last thing I want to say: if there is a good interaction between parent, teacher, and student, inshallah, student will be one of the biggest person in this life. Wa akhud dawan alhamdulillah. Shukriya bolo. Thank you very much.